So beautiful being up here. So beautiful, you know. So much nature everywhere and uh, trees and flowers and wildlife. I almost feel bad about burying people up here that don't subscribe to the channel. It kind of dirties up the place, you know. I guess I can always roll them down the hill. Yeah, people won't notice them down there. Always roll them down there, I guess. I love being a free thinker. You know, I come up with different solutions to these crazy problems. Yep, down the hill they go. Down the hill. Train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Land Bodybuilding, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how many days a week should you train. Now, of course, uh, everybody's got their own sort of input on this, but in order to achieve elite training results, you may find that you need to train a certain amount of days per week. Now, I found if I trained three days per week, I got a certain amount of results, and I got a lot of results at first for a long time with that. But at some point, I found that I stagnated and I needed to train more often. And I found ideally five to six days a week was perfect for me. Now, that doesn't mean that you don't go through periods of time where maybe less training is better because some of you guys may hit like a wall of overtraining. And when you hit that wall of overtraining or moderately overtraining, then when you back off and just do three days a week of training, you might get more results at first or for maybe a, a month or two, you know, you might get more results from that. So that's why you, it's, it's not like something that has an absolute answer, but it's something that you want to dance with, right? So you're dancing with a dance partner. You know, when they step forward, you step back or vice versa. You don't want to just basically apply the template. And so the same thing applies to training, especially when it comes to how many days a week you train. So overall, most of the time I train five to six days a week when I want to get optimal gains or even maintain, to tell you the truth. Because if I just train three days a week, I notice that my physique goes backwards. So a lot of times people say, oh yeah, are you, are you training hard or whatever? And it's like, yeah, I've got to train hard all the time in order to maintain my physique at a certain level. If I want to just train you know, a few days a week or whatever, I can maintain to a certain point, but I can't maintain the epitome of my gains. I can't maintain uh, it, it at the elite level. And that was always the same, even when I was younger. When I was 25 or 26, 27 years old, I had to train all the time to maintain what I look like. If I started training only two or three days a week or whatever, I'd start to lose my pump and I'd start to lose a little bit of muscle size. And this is kind of normal, right? So you can maintain a certain amount of results just by training a few times a week, but you will not be able to maintain the epitome of results, or at least some people will find that they can't. And I'm definitely one of those people, right? So if my training's not going great and my diet's not perfect, I'm definitely not going to look at my elite, right? Or my elite level. And another thing is some people think when you're in contest shape that you can eternally be in contest shape all the time and that's somehow a good lifestyle choice. And to tell you the truth, it's not, not for me. I mean, I'd have to constantly be dieting, constantly be burnt out. And there's only so long that your body can maintain that type of conditioning as a natural bodybuilder before it starts to become catabolic, right? So I find it's better for me to relax on the diet a bit, make sure I'm still getting enough protein and stuff. But at the same time, if I'm not dieting, I, I tend to have more energy to go to the gym and more energy to recover. If I'm constantly dieting forever, even though I look better, I, I start to feel like shit, you know? So there's this balancing act that happens. So that's the way it is. So, so I just had somebody ask about my two-day splits on my website and if I should train four days a week or six days a week or two days a week, like how many days a week should they train if they're using the two-day split? Now in the two-day split, I specifically say it's five to six days a week training, but some people may find that they get better results from doing four days a week, right? So you can mess around with this yourself and find out what applies to you in this particular circumstance because you're a free sovereign being and you can decide based on your own awareness and what's happening in this moment whether that template applies to you or not. I do highly recommend trying the template as it is. Any of my workout programs, I do highly recommend trying them as they are to see how you respond before you make changes. But if you find that your body seems to be overtraining or you're feeling a little bit too burned out, then feel free to back off on a day or two a week and therefore split the workout up into four days instead of six days, right? That's the thing, you know, I believe in freedom, right? So some people say, hey, Jason, don't share your political views on this channel. Well, the thing is, I don't have any political views. 
I just have the view on freedom. I, I believe that you decide what to do with your body. You decide based on what's happening in it, in each individual circumstance of what you should do with it based on your incredible experiment that you've been conducting by taking care of your health, right? Most people are so disconnected from their body, but most of the people on this channel are really connected and they know the subtleties or what's going on and then and they can tell what is needed or what's not needed, right? So the funny thing is about healthy people is that they're very aware. They're not like just walking around and then their leg just falls off and they don't even notice, which is basically the way most of the population of this planet seems to be walking around with, right? A lot of them, they don't even know until their body's an absolute wreck before they should address the issue, right? They usually have a health condition or something like that pop up long before they start making adjustments where most of you will feel like, hey, my body feels a little bit off. I'll make an adjustment in my diet or my training or my sleep or my stress. I'll make these adjustments as I go. And it's akin to driving a car, right? You constantly calibrate the car to be on the road. You don't wait till the car drives off the cliff before you make a calibration. So for people that are aware like yourself, I trust that you can make these adjustments as you go. And if your awareness has not expanded into that yet, just give it time. Just give it time and pay attention to your training. There's no one template for everyone, as I always say, and that's how a mountain is made, right? Mountains have different height, some of them have different shapes and all that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Not all mountains are exactly the same, so you don't have to be the same as everybody else. One thing though, for sure, is that each mountain is free. Mountain. So yeah, I hope this helps you out. I hope this helps you understand that, yeah, you might need more days off than somebody else, and it's okay. You know, some people are responding really well to three day splits. Some people respond very well to training three days a week. And some people find that they need to up the amount of days per week in order to get the most amount of muscle mass gains. So I hope this helps you out in your training. Thanks a lot for watching. If you need to get hold of me, just go to naturalgalantbodybuilding.com and thanks to the patient supporters and take care for now. And no, I'm not in the heavenly realm right now. I know it seems like that, but it's like there's fog everywhere. And that's why it looks like all foggy and bright behind me because I'm overlooking the lake on a cliffside right now. I'm just getting ready to do a lat spread to fly over the village. <laughs>